Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to hopefully teach you how to select an LLM model and how to run one. As you know we have thousands of options, um, most of them are not really high quality and uh, there are a lot of variables like um, the model size, parameter size, quantization. I'm gonna teach you what those mean and I also am going to help you uh, choose one for your computer because if you have more RAM, you will be able to run a bigger model. If you have a better uh, GPU, you are going to be able to run a bigger model. So let's start with some basics in here. Uh, we are right now at Open LLM Leaderboard. Here we can find most of the uh, bigger fine tunes, and these are their benchmark results. For instance, right now this Unity Anion is the first model, uh, sort of you might call um, state of the art model for 70 billion open source models. Uh, I haven't tried this yet, but I would probably guess that it is close to ChatGPT level. Um, for now, let's start with uh, something much basic about these LLMs, because I assume you're a starter and you don't have much experience with these stuff. So, first off, let's go to this page, Cobalt CPP, and let's go to the releases and click here. Uh, this is a tool that lets you use uh, GGUF and GGLM quantized LLM models. I'm gonna explain what that means, uh, don't worry. Let's just download this for now. Here, uh, this was this was a new uh, release. Let's click this. And we'll have this downloaded in a few minutes. There are some release notes if you wanna read. Um, we are going to use this because this lets us offload some of the work to our CPU from our GPU, which means we can use both your VRAM and RAM. And this is a huge advantage. Uh, because you will be able to use much bigger models and the one thing you must know about LLMs is that parameter size is the king. For example, ChatGPT is probably around 180 billion parameters and interestingly the 70 billion uh, models are close to the ChatGPT levels right now and I actually think that open source models will pass ChatGPT before 2024. And now that we have cobbled, let's click and run. Uh, fortunately, we don't need to install anything, it just works out of the box. As you can see, we have this um, screen pop-up. You'll see a bunch of options here. Uh, we won't need to change most of these for now. But before going back to leaderboard, I'll explain you the presets here. If you don't have a GPU, you should use OpenBless option like this. With this, you'll only use your RAM. But if you have any NVIDIA or AMD card, you should select this QBLESS uh, HIPBLESS option. A few more boxes will pop up, there uh, we will offload some of the layers to VRAM. But before all that, let's go back to leaderboard and we are back. Let's talk about your computer. If you're a gamer or otherwise rich, you should be having around 8 to 16 gigabytes of VRAM and 16 gigs of RAM. Let's assume you have 8 VRAM and 16 RAM. That makes 24 gigs of space we can put a model in. Normally these models will not fit in because these are FP16 weights, simply too big. But don't worry because we have a thing called quantization. And for that, we are going to visit the blog. Uh, this guy uploads every single model, well, probably not every single model, but a lot of models in quantized format. And there are nearly 1,100 models right now. As you can see, there are a bunch of options, GG UF, GG ML, GPTQ. We are going to use GG ML and GG UF models because with these options, we can offload layers to our VRAM. For instance, let's click this one. In the model card, we can see here a table that says max RAM required. The good thing is, like I said, we can offload stuff to our VRAM. If you have 8 gigs of VRAM, you can run this on your VRAM only. We don't want to run Q2 because these models suck. Uh, do not use 2-bit models. And we can actually run the 8-bit model because our RAM and VRAM combined, uh, we can push more than 16. But should we? Uh, Probably not because we can go for even bigger. I wouldn't even touch 3 and 7 billion parameters because these simply hallucinate too much and also tend to break down more compared to 13, uh, 30 and 70 billion models. For this reason, let's keep assuming that you have 24 gigs of workable space and let's look for a 30 billion model. As you can see here, we have G plated 30 billion. It has an average of 66.6 .6 points on benchmarks. Let's click and check what this is. Yeah, there are some technical stuff here. And like I mentioned, we are going to download the quantized version, not the full version. 
let's go to the the bloke let's expand these models and oops let's expand these models and look for Gipletti. not these let's go down this one we are going to always download the ggml or gguf all right let's start cobalt again i already have some models downloaded And also I have 12 gigs of VRAM, uh, I'm using RTX 2060S uh, Super. And I'm gonna show you how much layers we can offload too. I'm gonna use 6 threads because my CPU has 6, I wanna use all of them. You might wanna use 3, 6, 5. Uh, it depends on your CPU. I'm not gonna touch any of these, let's browse for a model. And I have this G Plenty 30 billion. To 3km. I'm gonna open this. I will offload some of the layers. So the point here is that you don't want to use all of your VRAM because uh, it may crash. And uh, the model or cobalt doesn't tell you directly how much layers uh, the model has or how much you can offload. So you can just do the trial and error route because layers change from model to model sometimes especially when the parameter size changes um, the layer size changes etc um, I want to use 35 layers and let's launch like this and as you can see I'm using 9 gigs of my VRAM and the rest will be on my RAM here you can see the uh, RAM usage and this is also for the uh, context size and congratulations, this is the screen you will get when you successfully load a model. Uh, the cobalt is pretty simple, uh, you can't really go wrong with anything. In here we can see that there are a few options, like for example memory, uh, this is for story especially. And here we have settings and presets, you can use the default to start with. Uh, in default you are starting with instruct mode and you are generating 100 tokens. You can change this uh, as much as you want. You want, you may want to generate 60, uh, 512. Uh, let's say I want 128. Let's say OK. And let's instruct the model. Write me. Write me a two sentence horror story. And let's uh, check what's going on under the hood, processing the prompt and generating. As you can see, this is quite fast because I used a lot of VRAM. I could use even more. Probably I could go for 36, 38 uh, layers, but this is fine. It's quite fast uh, anyways. And here we go. Let's see. I woke up in the middle of the night to find a dark figure standing over my bed smiling. I screamed and tried to get out of the bed, but the figure grabbed my arm. I screamed and tried to get out of the bed, but the figure grabbed my arm, whispering, you are going to be mine now. I mean, it's something, right? It's kind of bland, but this is the power of 30 billion models. Let's allow editing and clean everything here. Let's try something else. Let's say, which dog read would be best for me if I'm living in a small apartment. Again, we are quite going fast. Uh, the last time it was 2.2 tokens per second. If I was using a 13 billion model, I can go up to 10 or 15 tokens per second. Okay, let's see the answer. A pug would be the best dog breed for you if you are living in a small apartment because they have short, stocky wheels then <laughs> and don't need much exercise. That's kind of true, I guess. And we can also try something else. Let's open settings, go to story mode, and say, okay, in story mode, uh, the AI will finish your sentence in a way, uh, finish the story. Let's give it something to start with. Gale was a wizard prodigy living in his tower. One day, he met a beautiful woman named. Mistra. 
but she was more than just a mere human. And to make things easier, let's perhaps start with a dialogue here. Good morning, darling, said Gail. And now the model will generate 128 tokens or something similar. And here we go. How did you sleep? Like a rock, replied Mistra. I had such an amazing dream about you. Really, what happened? asked Gale. Well, we were dancing and laughing together, and then we went for a walk in the forest, and then we... We did what in the forest? interrupted Gale. And so on. Um, you can also just submit and keep generating like this, or I mean add something. Uh, the possibilities are limitless. Yeah, the, that's all. Please let me know if you have any questions, leave a comment if you like this video, please leave a like. Sorry for my uh, annoying accent and voice, and a lot of cuts I know, but I just wanted to create something useful for everyone. I hope you liked it, bye.